Hospitality is not just a word at Bishop's Bay Country Club, it's our way of life. Come and experience why Bishop's Bay Country Club is the premier country club in the Madison area. TVW Sports Weekends is produced by these local stations. TV 43 in Baraboo, Fact TV in Fitchburg, Monona Grove Community Media, OCA Media in Oregon, WSTO and SSN in Stoughton, Sun Prairie Media Center, Village of McFarland TV, Watertown TV and W7 Productions for the girls. TVW Sports Weekends is brought to you by our proud and local sponsors, SUP Stores and SUPS.com, and A1 Furniture and Mattress. Support your local TV stations and sponsors, without whom these games would not be possible. From the moment you set foot on our campus until the day you receive your diploma, we are committed to your success. And our graduate affordability promise means more students can experience Edgewood College for less. The GAP program lowers tuition rates for business and education graduate students by up to 40%. This is Edgewood College, life-changing education made more affordable and more accessible to more people than ever before. 2020 Prep Mania Hoops is brought to you by these proud local sponsors. Ansi and Associates. At Ansi and Associates, we give you more than just insurance, we give you peace of mind. That's the Ansi way. Dale's Heating and Air, putting your comfort first. Black Hawk Technical College, get your custom training on. Explore how Black Hawk Technical College can provide cost-effective training solutions for your company. Dairy Queen, fan food, not fast food, on Mineral Point, University, Fish Hatchery, and Sun Prairie. And Cardinal Heating and Air, trained and trusted 24-7 emergency service. Support your local sponsors without whom these games would not be possible. Hospitality is not just a word at Bishop's Bay Country Club, it's our way of life. So every day we strive for perfection. Memories are made here. <laughs> and not forgotten. Come and experience why Bishop's Bay Country Club is the premier country club in the Madison area. The Madison East Sup Store is your destination for Bang Energy drinks. Not only do we have the largest selection in town, but our prices are unbeatable. Mix and match a 12 pack for just $15.99 every day. A knowledgeable staff and low prices. It's time to get more bang for your buck at Sup's. No matter your fitness goals, Sup's is here to help. We've built our reputation on low prices, trustworthy brands, and customer service. So whether you're looking for pre-workout or protein, or vitamins and weight loss supplements, it's time to get more bang for your buck at Sup's. Brent from Subs here. Not only do we have an amazing selection of sports supplements, we also have a great selection of CBD products with amazing prices. Right now, get the 2500 milligram full spectrum for only $99.99. Number 314, Gertrude Awakening. Number 38, Off Me Rocker. Followed up by number 428, Polly Avarice. Number 617 is Ginger Snap. Number 64, Pegasus. Number 703, Kel Fire Warrior. Number 739, Goldman Smacks. Number 7734, Hellwoods. Number 800 is Bada Boom Box. Number 847, Hello Sailor. And number 9 is Shenanigans. The Unholy Rollers are supported from the bench by Dive Hard, Splatter Alice, Micro Mauler, Scarlet Osneria, and Skulls B. Kraken. Ladies and gentlemen, your 2018 Unholy Rollers! But the challengers of these ladies in red are the 2018 Vaudeville Vixens. At number zero, Lady Painacorn. 1967, Jocelyn Hell. 
1975 Neon. At 207 Slam Chowder. Number 22, Happy Go Lucky. 23, Saucy McBossy. At 238, Radio Smackdiv. 24, Shantastic Mick Awesome. At 30, Lemon Dropkick. At 3006, Bonnie Riot. At 32, Dalek Doll. 49, Donna Stunner. At 65, Blanche Devereaux. At 666, Evil Elfsies. 672, La March Madness. At 713, Diaphragm. At 7184, Wolframer. Seven hundred and fifty milliliters whiskey chaser and on the bench clad in garters and daggers are darling Nikki, tipsy velvet, nefarious, and smart ash. Once again, give it up for the 2018 vaudeville vixens. Welcome uh, to the se season semifinals for season 14 of the Mad Rollin' Dolls. That's right. I am Dolly Pardon Me. And I'm Assassinate. And we are here at the Alliant Energy Center. We're going to be bringing you some great um, derby action between the Vaudeville Vixens and the Unholy Rollers. Now, these two teams matched up in the first bout of the season, but this is the one that matters, Nate. That's this right. This is the one that... Um, that will bring um, one team or the other to the championships on April 28th. So we're going to get started with some derby action here. We hope you can join us um, here at our championship bout on April 28th. Um, but we're going to talk a little bit here about roller derby. We're going to see some skaters on the track right now. We've got blockers and jammers. The jammers are the ones that have the stars on their helmets in the back. And jamming for the Unholy Rollers is going to be Ginja Snap. Um, they're in red. Ginja is in red. Vixens have Blanche Devereaux jamming um, in the pink and brown. Blanche right, Devereaux right, trying to get up the inside, six, Ginger Snap one, as well, both going seven, against Ginger the blockers snap, who are playing both offense and defense, trying to get their jammer through, but primarily holding the other jammer back. That's right. And when the, the lead jammer of the night is Ginger Snap, um, and, the other and it looks like Blanche Devereaux actually got lead jammer in that fault. last jam. Ginger Snap might have gotten through first, but Blanche Devereaux got through first um, legally and inbound, so she gets to call off that jam at any point in time. And you saw Blanche Devereaux call off the jam by putting her hands on her hips. Um, now that calls off the jam. It looks like Vixens pick up two points on Holies with zero, but we're going to start it off with another jam now. Two new jammers on the track. We're going to see Tango de Muerte for the Unholy Rollers jamming that up against. Um, That's right, and it looks like it's Dalek Doll on the, for the Vaudeville Vixens in the pink. All right, Dalek Doll, number 32 for the Vixens jamming, trying to get through that front wall that the Unholy Rollers push up, but it looks like, yes, it is. It's number 22, Tango de Muerte for the Unholy Rollers, lead jammer. That's right. Now, one thing to note, both jammers 
regardless of if they're lead jammer or not, both jammers can score points. The benefit of being lead jammer is the, uh, they, they're the person who is allowed to call off the jam. That's right, assassinate. Is, uh, it's, a, it's a huge um, advantageous it, position. It yeah. definitely is um, an advantage, especially yes, if that jammer is in the lead, which Tango de Marte was. She got right into the pack, called off the jam, picked up one point, but Vixen's jammer, Dalek Dal there, got in there and picked up two more points. So it looks like Vaudeville Vixen's, um, oh no, I'm sorry, Vaudeville Vixen's had two points from before. That's the right. uh, total Helga, score on your screen there. That's right. Uh, Dog Doll score was held scoreless on that. That's right. Oh, there was a spill in the middle. So it looks like we're having a timeout here that gives us a chance yes, let's, to thank uh, one of our sponsors. Yeah, exactly. Let's uh, let's talk about um, Hinkley Productions. Uh, they uh, they they bring uh, the game coverage is brought to you by Hinkley Productions, leading the way in live HD video streaming and professional commercial video production. Uh, they've been supporting the Dolls and Derby since 2008, and they're the reason we look so good. That's right, Assassinate. They are. They're out there um, with their equipment, providing this um, awesome video footage to you. And we're getting back to the action on the track now. Jocelyn Hell jamming in pink for the Vixens, going up against, it looks like Tango de Muerte, number 22, is the jammer for the Unholy Rollers, but is in the penalty box starting off this jam. So that means that the... Vaudeville Vixens have a power jam. That's, That's right. when one jammer from the opposing team is in the penalty box, and your jammer is the only team out there. So your team plays just offense, and the Unholy Rollers playing just defense. Jocelyn Hell through the pack there, getting lead jammer status for the Vaudeville Vixens, now eligible to score points on this pass. Getting through just two more blockers to pass there. She's going to get recycled right to the and back. And she gets recycled to the back of the pack the there by Goldman Smacks, number 739. That means that Jocelyn Held, the jammer, has to go back in um, bounds on the track behind that last jammer, Goldman Smacks. But now gets through, picking up those four points. Um, uh, I believe that was five points. That was a grand slam. Well, that's right. You are, Assassinate. The, uh, with the opposing jammer in the penalty box. Um, being in that power jam, yep, that grand slam is when you get all four points for the blockers as well as that extra point on the jammer. Whenever there's a, if you're a jammer, whenever there's a, a an opposing player who's in the penalty box, you pick up the points for that player with the on the on your with your very first pass. That's right. And you're going to see on your screen here, Unholy Rollers um, with just one point right now. Vixens with 12. Jocelyn Hell leading the way with 10 points there. Um, but again, it is just three minutes into this first period. We have ha have this whole period as well as another period. Now both teams are going to play some tight defense in this game to try to keep um, the other jammers from getting too far ahead in this game. I think we're going to see a lot of back and forth. Um, as we have seen in just the first jam, um, going back and forth for lead jam, unholy rollers, lead jam, vaudeville vixens. Yeah, I, I feel like you're right on that because especially since um, we watched this matchup as on the very first um, on our very first bout this season, January 13th, it was a four point game, and the it was going back and forth the entire time. It was. Um, we're going to also let you know about the championship bout on April 28th. The bout theme is Space Pants Jam at the Expo Halls. Um, and whatever team wins this bout here, the Vaudeville Vixens or the Unholy Rollers, they will play one of the other home teams that will be playing in our other semifinals bout. Uh, they'll be playing for our championship leg of champions. Um, and we hope you can make it out to the Alliant Energy Center on April 28th. That's right, and tickets are still available. They are. Where can people find tickets? I think you can go online to our website, madisonrollerderby.org. That's right, Nate. Assassinate. Madisonrollerderby.org. Check out information there. Also, we're having um, a tournament coming up. That tournament is called Utter Chaos. It's a three-day WFTDA recognized tournament, and it's happening this May at the Hartmeyer Ice Arena from May 18th to May 20th. But we're gonna get back to some action here on the track between shenanigans jamming for the Unholy Rollers in red against La March Madness jamming for the Vixens. 
in pink. That's right. And this is a power jam for the Unholies. Um, shenanigans taking lead jammer as um, La March Madness is in the penalty box. Let's La March start. Madness sent to the penalty box at the beginning of that jam. So let's see what shenanigans can do with this power jam getting through that pack but not to the inside. Has to be recycled back behind that last skater. It looks like Bonnie Riot um, to block her out. Now in the front, shenanigans having to get past uh, Whiskey Chaser, Bonnie Riot, and Donna Stunner for the Vixens there, as well as Radio Smackdiv. Now one one thing, one interesting thing is Lamarch Madness came out of the penalty box holding her helmet cover in her hand. So this could either be a star pass or um, maybe some kind of sneaky trick. Just a star stash, it looks like. Sometimes yeah. jammers will do that um, to kind of confuse the opponents so that they don't know exactly who the jammer is. And that was um, well done by La March Madness, able to get through the pack, but it looks like Shenanigans calls off that jam after picking up nine points for the Unholy Rollers. That brings them to 10 points within two of the Vixens' 12 there. Like I said, Nate, back and forth, this game is going to be a good one. Yes. With a lot of... Um, a lot of action um, with those jammers, um, as well as tough blockers to, to this, get by. This is the this is the kind of game I, I really enjoy. Yes. This is um, I'm I'm probably first and foremost I'm I'm a fan of the sport and. Well, I'm and now we've we got to, to announce, though, so that yes, everybody else's fans that are watching out there, they can see that Blanche Devereaux now is jamming for the Vaudeville Vixens up in the front there against some of the Unholy Rollers, able to get past those blockers and become lead jammer for the Vaudeville Vixens. That's right, and uh, it looks like Gertrude Awakening is still held back by a sea of pink vixens. And Gertrude Awakening, 314, they're jamming for the Unholy Rollers. Yes, still on her initial pass. Now Blanche Devereaux into the pack. Um, it looks like Neon 1975. They're recycling Gertrude Awakening to the back of the pack as Blanche Devereaux has um, gotten out of the pack, it looks like, but was sent to the penalty box. So um, while she may have scored points in that run, it looks like now Gertrude Awakening with a power jam for the Unholy Rollers. That's right, and th that pack is going fast. They are. Nice job by the Unholy Rollers blockers. They're getting up and on the outside as Gertrude Awakening gets past all of that those blockers. Just what the Unholy Rollers want to do is speed up that pack and try and get their jammer past. All they have to do right now is play a little bit of defense. Gertrude Awakening able to get past again. Now it looks like Blanche Devereaux in... Um, on the track again, out of the penalty box, able to score points as well. What happens now though, Nate, it looks like Blanche Devereaux was lead jammer. Because Blanche went to the penalty box, she is no longer eligible to call off the jam, so this jam will go the whole two minutes. You'll see the jam clock on your left with 13, 12, 11 seconds to go. Jammer's eligible to score points. Gertrude Awakening making it through that pack for another four points. I'm not sure um, exactly how many she scored total, but just as Blanche Devereaux goes into the pack, uh, the whistle is called, so that jam ends. That's right, and that's 18 That's 18 points for Gertrude Awakening, um, with uh, seven points scored for the Vixens. Well, and that brings the Unholy Rollers into the lead with that jam that's by Gertrude change. Awakening. That's right, 28 points for the Unholy Rollers, 21 for the Vaudeville Vixens, still with 22 and a half minutes to go. That's right, we've got Dalek Doll lining up for the Vixens in the pink, number 30, 32. And Ginger Snap in the red for the Unholy Rollers, number 617. Ginger Snap out of the pack first and your lead jammer for the Unholy Rollers. Ginger Snap approaching a pack that's going pretty fast, not to the inside. She turns around fast though and gets right back in there. Eligible to score these points now. Watching when Dalek Dahl is coming into the pack, calls off the jam. And it looks like the Vixens there with a couple points, but unholy, or no Vixens points, but unholies with four. That's right. And Thank you for uh, watching the Mad Rolling Dolls. We are gonna take a break. Hospitality is not just a word at Bishop's Bay Country Club, it's our way of life.
Come and experience why Bishop's Bay Country Club is the premier country club in the Madison area. TVW Sports Weekends is produced by these local stations. TV 43 in Baraboo, Fact TV in Fitchburg, Monona Grove Community Media, OCA Media in Oregon, WSTO and SSN in Stoughton, Sun Prairie Media Center, Village of McFarland TV, Watertown TV and W7 Productions for the girls. TVW Sports Weekends is brought to you by our proud and local sponsors, SUP Stores and SUPS.com and A1 Furniture and Mattress. Support your local TV stations and sponsors, without whom these games would not be possible. From the moment you set foot on our campus until the day you receive your diploma, we are committed to your success. And our graduate affordability promise means more students can experience Edgewood College for less. The GAP program lowers tuition rates for business and education graduate students by up to 40%. This is Edgewood College. Life-changing education made more affordable and more accessible to more people than ever before. 2020 Prep Mania Hoops is brought to you by these proud local sponsors. Ansi and Associates. At Ansi and Associates, we give you more than just insurance, we give you peace of mind. That's the Ansi way. Dale's Heating and Air, putting your comfort first. Blackhawk Technical College, get your custom training on. Explore how Blackhawk Technical College can provide cost-effective training solutions for your company. Dairy Queen, fan food, not fast food, on Mineral Point, University, Fish Hatchery, and Sun Prairie. And Cardinal Heating and Air, trained and trusted 24-7 emergency service. Support your local sponsors without whom these games would not be possible. Hospitality is not just a word at Bishop's Bay Country Club, it's our way of life. So every day we strive for perfection. Memories are made here. <laughs> and not forgotten. Come and experience why Bishop's Bay Country Club is the premier country club in the Madison area. The Madison East Sup Store is your destination for Bang Energy drinks. Not only do we have the largest selection in town, but our prices are unbeatable. Mix and match a 12-pack for just $15.99 every day. A knowledgeable staff and low prices. It's time to get more bang for your buck at Sup's. No matter your fitness goals, Sup's is here to help. We've built our reputation on low prices, trustworthy brands, and customer service. So whether you're looking for pre-workout or protein, or vitamins and weight loss supplements, it's time to get more bang for your buck at SUPS. Brent from SUPS here. Not only do we have an amazing selection of sports supplements, we also have a great selection of CBD products with amazing prices. Right now, get the 2500 milligram full spectrum for only $99.99. And we're back, you're watching the Mad Roland Dolls semifinals bout of season 14. We're watching the Vaudeville Vixens take on the Unholy Rollers. Vixens with 21 points, Unholy's in the lead with 32. It has been back and forth this game so far. Um, jamming for the Unholy Rollers, we've got Tango de Muerte, number 22 out of the pack and lead jammer for the Unholy Rollers. That's right, and Dalek Dahl is sitting in the penalty box. She will is the jammer for the Vixens, so this is a power jam for the Unholy Rollers. Tango de Muerte trying to get past the Vaudeville Vixens, not to the inside there, recycled around to the back, but going back at it again. Now remember we said as Tango de Muerte, oh, a, a little hit there, it gets knocked down, but as Tango de Muerte scores points on the blockers, she also gets a point for the jammer that was in that penalty box. So I believe Tango only got past three blockers though, scored that point on the jammer, four points for the Unholies. Vixens with zero points, that jam. And it looks like Blanche Devereaux leading in point scoring for the Vixens with 11 points. Jocelyn Hell with 10. That's right, and uh, leading for the Unholy Rollers, Gertrude Awakening with a whopping 18 points. And a couple other Unholy Rollers jammers as well. Um, showing that they've definitely got the point advantage here. But we've got Jocelyn Hell uh, in the pink against Shenanigans in the red jamming for their teams, both going up against a, a wall of blockers and making it tough for both jammers to get through. But Shenanigans finds a way around that outside and is your lead jammer for the Unholy Rollers. All right, well, cooler jets are 
points for now. In the meantime, Shenanigans is back. One hit Wanda there blocking Jocelyn Hell, who has looked to have stashed that star, um, but still blocked in the back behind the Unholy Rollers. You know, I was confused, and that's why I was quite silent. I was <laughs> looking. I looked in the penalty box. I looked on the, on this, on the track. I couldn't see the star, but that's where it was. It fooled even me. It was in her hand. It looks like shenanigans gets through there and picks up um, five points for the Unholy Rollers, while Jocelyn Hell, able to get out of the pack, did not score any points for the Vixens in that jam. She wasn't able to get through on that point scoring pass before shenanigans calls off the jam. So is this had been this has been two or three on uh, on, on pointless jams for the Vixens? I think that's the second one. Unholy's um, leading with the lead jammer and the points in those last two jams. We'll see what the Vixens can do this jam with Lamarch Madness uh, taking the star in the pink. That's right, good true awakening back on the jammer line for the unholy rollers number 314. She takes lead jammer for the Unholy Rollers, gets around there on the outside. As the Unholy is just recycling um, around to the front, one after another, giving LaMarche Madness a hard time to get through there. Gertrude Awakening able to lap uh, and pick up those four points, as well as an extra point on passing the jammer. That's a natural grand slam. Five points for Gertrude Awakening on the Unholies, keeping the Vixens to zero again. And uh, one thing we didn't see was, um, we because the camera was on uh, the other jammer, but uh, Gertrude Awakening had a pretty sweet uh, apex jump. Did she? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Um, yes, and so we're um, we're here at the Alliant Energy Center taking a little bit of a break. It looks like the Vaudeville Vixen's going to take a time out. Good, ch good timing because they are down by a little over 20 um, five, by 25 points there, Unholies in the lead. We would like to thank one of our sponsors, Stone Fence, your go-to for locally and U.S. made gifts, goods, and art. Woman owned and operated on 2322 Atwood Avenue. Thank you, Stone Fence, for your sponsorship. Let's talk about another one. We've got uh, WORT. Uh, tune in to WORT 89.9 FM, community radio for great underground music and talk. Go to wartfm.org to listen live or on demand. So thank you, Wart. And definitely check out our website, um, madisonrollerderby.org. Get tickets to our championship bout on April 28th, where either the Unholy Rollers or the Vixens will take on um, our other home teams, either the Quad Squad or the uh, Reservoir Dolls, whichever one wins the next bout. We've got Blanche Devereaux, though, now on the jammer line for the Vaudeville Vixens going up against Ginja Snap. Uh, that's right, number 617 for the Unholy roller, Rollers. Blanche Devereaux through the pack first for the Vaudeville Vixens. That's lead jammer for the Vixens. And Blanche going to be in a power jam for the Vaudeville Vixens. It looks like Ginger Snap sent off the track on a track cut penalty. Vaudeville Vixens now just playing offense, trying to get um, Blanche Devereaux as many points as possible. You see them pick up speed, getting the unholy rollers blockers to move as well. Nice job by Hellwood, 7734 there on the unholy rollers, knocking Blanche to the outside having to recycle her all the way to the back. That's right, and that, that's, this has been uh, a high, high, high penalties for the jammers. Uh, that's two, two jammer penalties for the Unholy Rollers um, and three jammer pen penalties for the Vaudeville Dixons. Yes, and in this um, start, this beginning of the game, um, you know, those penalties are definitely gonna go back and forth either way, and you can see with those scores uh, how that happens. The Dixons with nine points in that last jam now 30 points to the Unholy's 46. And you can see the jam, the times that those um, skaters were jamming, how many times they were lead and um, points there on the screen. See, we've got uh, Dalek Dahl wearing the star for the uh, Vaudeville Vixens, number 32. She's the one in the pink. She just took lead jam. Uh, jamming for the Unholy Rollers is Tango de Muerte, number 22. Tango de Muerte recycled to the back of the pack by the um, Vaudeville Vixen pack there. Still trying to get through as Dalek Dahl knocked to the outside, but on her point scoring pass now. 
Dalekdal trying to get past the blockers on the Unholy Rollers. Yeah, those blockers are One Hit Wanda, Pegasus, Goldman Smacks, and Bada Boom Box. <laughs> Making it tough for her, but she finds a little inside line there and just steps right over it, picking up some points for the Vaudeville Vixens. It looks like Tango de Muerte has passed the star. That's a star pass when the jammer passes the star to the pivot. One hit Wanda now taking on that point scoring ability. But before she can get any points on for the Unholy Rollers, it looks like Dalek Dal exterminates that jam by calling it off, picking up nine points for the Vixens and bringing them up to 39 points. Unholy Rollers with 46. This, we're back to a seven point game. A great game it is too, this um, semi-finals bout to see who's gonna go to the championships. Here at the Coliseum, we've got Jocelyn Held jamming um, for the Vaudeville Vixens with the star, jamming in red for the Unholy Rollers, Shenanigans. Both in the back of the pack trying to get through. A couple blockers falling down in the midst, but. Jammers and blockers both have to be agile and able to endure uh, this back and forth, um, just on and off. Twitch muscles there, you see a lot of agility, a lot of um, skates going, moving fast. A lot of skaters hitting the ground too, back and forth and bumping into one another. Knocked down by Neon, Arz uh, by Neon there from the Vixens. Shenanigans having to recycle to the back of the pack. Jocelyn Hell, though, is lead jam now and um, stopped by a wall of unholy rollers there, knocked down. Now, not lead jammer, but still looking for those points. Uh, we have Shenanigans, uh, number nine for the unholy rollers. Before she can get any points, though, it looks like Jocelyn Hell calls off the jam with three points. So that brings the Vaudeville Vixens to 42 points, the unholy rollers with 46 points. All right, we're going to take a little break. Thank That's you for watching. Right. Thank you for watching Mad Roland Elf. All right, and we're back. Uh, you're watching the Mad Rolling Dolls. This is uh, season 14 semifinals. This is the match of uh, Vaudeville Vixens against the Unholy Rollers. And this match, Assassinate, will determine which team goes to the finals, the championship for um, the Mad Roland Dolls. We've got LaMarche Madness jamming for the Vaudeville Vixens, number 672 there, going against Gertrude Awakening, 314 for the Unholy Rollers. LaMarche Madness out of the pack first and lead jammer. That's right, and about half a, half a track length behind is Gertrude Awakening. And LaMarche Madness gets through that pack, calls off the jam. That's called hit it and quit it sometimes, but basically that jammer gets through, gets into the pack. She's lead. She hits that pack. She gets through and gets as many points as she can and calls it off. That's right. Ideally, you want to get that four points. And look at her there getting right through, right through on that inside line, moving her feet, calling off that jam, not allowing the Unholies any points. Nice jam by LaMarche Madness there. Mm -hmm. Now we've got Blanche Devereaux on the jammer line for wearing the star for the Vaudeville Vixens, going up against Ginger Snap for the Unholy Rollers. Now it looks like both of them are, it looked like Ginger Snap was almost through the pack when Neon cycled her back. That's right, and that's what happens as a jammer. You're almost there, you're up in the front, mm -hmm. you got one blocker to go, and she knocks you to the outside lane, or her buddy does. Um, and both the Vaudeville Vixens and the Unholy Rollers doing a great job of holding those jammers back. Ginja Snap just out now, and that's almost a minute into the jam before anyone's determined to be lead jammer. So Ginger Snap, lead jammer for the Unholy Rollers. That's right, and the, we, we saw a star pass for the Vixens, so now Neon has the star. Oh, that's right, we did. Blanche Devereaux passed the star to Neon, the pivot. Neon now eligible to score points for the Vaudeville Vixens, and doing so on that inside, or trying to, getting knocked inside by one hit Wanda, recycled to the back. As Ginger Snap making her way around the outside, but knocked out of bounds by Bonnie Riot. Has to go to the back of the pack there as well. 
Oh, knocked down by Adonis Stunner. And um, it looks like Lady Painicorn. And uh, Blanche Devereaux down now, too. So it looks like a couple of vaudeville vixens there all down as Neon gets through the pack. And then Ginger Snap as well, calling off that jam. Ginger Snap just kept working on getting through that pack um, to be able to call off that jam after she gets those four now, points. It was so. a four, four points uh, for the Unholies, three points for the Vixens, but they worked hard for every single one of those points, both teams. That is right. That was they, a they hard were, jam. They looked exhausted. They I mean, did. It is hard work just yeah. to get that one point, mm -hmm. but to get all four of them, nice job to stick with it there. Yeah. Now jamming for the Unholy Rollers, we've got Tango de Muerte against Dalek Dahl, who is lead jammer for the Vaudeville Vixens. She snuck through there on the inside line before I could even mention her name. But now Tango de Muerte out of the pack as well. Both jammers eligible to score points. Dalek Dahl getting past Bada Boom Box just as she sees Tango de Muerte calls off that jam and picks up that one point. So 50 50. It is a tie game. That's Unholy right. Rollers, Vaudeville Vixens with 10 and a half minutes left. It is getting pretty exciting. This could go either way. You could say it's 50 50. <laughs> it's 50 50. <laughs> That's great. All assassinate. Right. Yep. All right. Uh, let's uh, talk about one of our sponsors, uh, Lauer Realty Group. Dolls kick ass. Off the track, Lauer Realty Group is ready to jam for you in all your real estate needs. Lauer Realty Group, located at 2229 Atwood Avenue or online at LauerRealtyGroup.com. That's right. We love our sponsors, and they jam for us with that Lauer Realty Group. Just as Shenanigans here is jamming for the Unholy Rollers. Shenanigans out of the pack first, lead jammer for the Unholy Rollers, and now through the pack, it looks like... It's a power jam. We've got... Uh, Jocelyn Hell, Hell sitting in the jam, uh, sitting in the jammer penalty box. That's right. Jocelyn Hell in the penalty box gives the unholy rollers a power jam and a chance for shenanigans and the unholies to really take the lead back here after that 50-50. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Shenanigans calling off the jam, pointing, noting, jammer still in the penalty box. So that means the unholy rollers will start this next jam with a little bit of an advantage there. That's right, freezing the the Vixens jammer in the penalty box for the beginning of this next jam. And it looked like it looked like Jocelyn Hell was standing up, so she was she had at you have most 10 seconds, 10 seconds or less. Yep. So this gives the unholy rollers a chance to start there. We just saw shenanigans too, you know, a great communicator on the track telling her team where to go, looking and making sure that everybody's where they need to be. Now one hit Wanda, it looks like jamming for the unholy rollers. Jamming in a power jam there, knocked to the outside by Neon. Jocelyn Hell's back on the track, and she is now working her way through the track, but not before one hit Wanda gets lead jammer. One hit Wanda, Wanda, number three for the Unholy Rollers in the red. That's right, Wanda now lead jammer, and getting through that pack, making easy, um, easy work of it, picking up five points and a grand slam because she passes that Vixen Jammer. Looks like the Vixen Jammer, Jocelyn Hell, going back to the penalty box, giving one hit Wanda now the power jam for the Unholy Rollers that she started with. Unholy Rollers lining up, just going to play some uh, offense and help their Jammer through. Vixen's lined up for defense here. One hit Wanda into the pack, trying to get past those last couple blockers. Calls off the jam. That pick that gives the unholy rollers the lead here with 14 points in that jam. Plus the jam from shenanigans. Now that gives the unholy rollers the 79 to Vixen's 50 lead. This is all coming down to these jammer penalties, I think. For half of the Vaudeville Vixen's team penalties have uh, been jammer penalties and wow. for the unholy rollers less than a uh, quarter of their team and penalties. that definitely allows that team to help so thank you for watching the mad rolling dolls and you're watching the mad rolling dolls here in semi-finals bout we've got ginger snap jamming for the unholy rollers picking up lead jammer status jocelyn hell still in the penalty box for the vaudeville vixens actually it looks like jocelyn hell is out and she's out of the pack as well okay all right. Um, 
thank you. I, I couldn't see that there on the track. <laughs> but um, I know the Unholies there took advantage of the start uh, of that jam, picking up lead the last three jams um, with penalties for the Vixen Jammers. And the Vixen jam Jammers kept scoreless these last few jams. Um, we saw in just a few minutes that lead the Unholies, 83 now to the Vixens, 50. Um, just went from a 50-50 tie game to that lead. So, so that's been, what, 20, 33 unanswered points. That's right. That's exactly what you need to do um, when um, you're tied up is uh, get out there and um, get some unanswered points. You know what? Um, you know what I want to talk about? Let's talk about Let's beer. Talk. Let's talk Let's about talk beer. Let's talk about beer. Uh, Pat's Blue Ribbon proudly sponsors the Mad Rolling Dolls. So PBR yourself ASAP. That's right. What will you have? I'll have Pat's Blue Ribbon. Nice. <laughs> Hospitality is not just a word of Bishop's Bay Country Club. It's our way of life. Come and experience why Bishop's Bay Country Club is the premier country club in the Madison area. TVW Sports Weekends is produced by these local stations. TV 43 in Baraboo, Fact TV in Fitchburg, Monona Grove Community Media, OCA Media in Oregon, WSTO and SSN in Stoughton, Sun Prairie Media Center, Village of McFarland TV, Watertown TV and W7 Productions for the girls. TVW Sports Weekends is brought to you by our proud and local sponsors, SUP Stores and SUPS.com and A1 Furniture and Mattress. Support your local TV stations and sponsors, without whom these games would not be possible. From the moment you set foot on our campus until the day you receive your diploma, we are committed to your success. And our graduate affordability promise means more students can experience Edgewood College for less. The GAP program lowers tuition rates for business and education graduate students by up to 40%. This is Edgewood College. Life-changing education made more affordable and more accessible to more people than ever before. 2020 Prep Mania Hoops is brought to you by these proud local sponsors. Ansi and Associates. At Ansi and Associates, we give you more than just insurance, we give you peace of mind. That's the Ansi way. Dale's Heating and Air, putting your comfort first. Blackhawk Technical College, get your custom training on. Explore how Blackhawk Technical College can provide cost-effective training solutions for your company. Dairy Queen. Fan food, not fast food, on Mineral Point, University, Fish Hatchery, and Sun Prairie. And Cardinal Heating and Air, trained and trusted 24-7 emergency service. Support your local sponsors without whom these games would not be possible. Hospitality is not just a word at Bishop's Bay Country Club, it's our way of life. So every day we strive for perfection. Memories are made here. <laughs> and not forgotten. Come and experience why Bishop's Bay Country Club is the premier country club in the Madison area. The Madison East Sup Store is your destination for Bang Energy drinks. Not only do we have the largest selection in town, but our prices are unbeatable. Mix and match a 12-pack for just $15.99 every day. A knowledgeable staff and low prices. It's time to get more bang for your buck at Sup's. No matter your fitness goals, SUPS is here to help. We've built our reputation on low prices, trustworthy brands, and customer service. So whether you're looking for pre-workout or protein, or vitamins and weight loss supplements, it's time to get more bang for your buck at SUPS. Brent from SUPS here. Not only do we have an amazing selection of sports supplements, we also have a great selection of CBD products with amazing prices. Right now, get the 2500 milligram full spectrum for only $99.99. Paps Blue Ribbon supporting the Dolls and Roller Derby nationwide and I think even worldwide for so long. And there they are over there doing the Lord's work, Dolly. <laughs> That's right. We want to thank our um, after party sponsor tonight too, Vintage Brewing Company, home of the original Derby Girl ESB beer, brewed in honor of the hard-hitting skaters of roller derby. We invite you to stop into the family-owned brew pub for a fantastic meal 
served alongside one of their award-winning brews. With around 20 vintage brewing company craft beers to choose from, you'll be sure to find something you love on tap. I love Vintage Brewing Company. Do you think they have PBR there? It's okay. It's okay. They They're might, but they've They're got their own brew, yep. brew stuff that you want to get there. Now we're going to get back to the action. Unholy Rollers with um, Tango de Muerte on the jammer line. Blanche Devereaux jamming for the Vaudeville Vixens. And Blanche Devereaux moving that pack up in the front, just pushing and pushing. Unholy Rollers wall, though, sticking together just as T Tango de Muerte it looks like pushing past with some vaudeville vixens there still holding her back knocked by Neon Arzek to the infield recycled around meanwhile Blanche Devereaux your lead jammer for the vaudeville vixens I gotta say Neon has been doing an enormous amount of recycling of the opposing team's jammers that's this, right this, uh, this game so far that's definitely what you want to do as a blocker, is try to knock that jammer to the outside or the inside. Run back so that that jammer then has to stop, reverse their direction, and, and get back there and slow themselves down. So it looks like we saw a star pass there from the Unholy Rollers jammer, Tango de Muerte, passing it off to the pivot, Toast, number 218. Toast now becomes the point scorer. Blanche Devereaux, though, calling off the jam after she gets up to the front of the um, unholy roller pack there. Picking up three points for the Vixens, unholy rollers with zero that point. So now just a 30 point game, but the Vixens slowly working their way up. That's right. Um, where, whereas the unholy rollers able to take those big points um, with the vaudeville Vixens jammer in the penalty box. So we're gonna line it up again here on the jammer line. Dalek Dahl in the pink jamming for the Vaudeville Vixens against Shenanigans in the red. Both very strong jammers, both being held out, but Shenanigans pulls lead jammer status. That's right, Shenanigans out of the pack first. Dalek Dahl having a little bit of trouble there behind some of the Unholy Rollers, knocked to the infield. Unholy Rollers, Gertrude Awakening, Hello Sailor, the Manipulator. And it looks like one of their rookies there, uh, Pegasus, all giving Dalek Dahl a little bit of a hard time, but she gets through there. Not lead jammer. Meanwhile, unholy rollers, jammer shenanigans, picking up a power, or I'm sorry, a grand slam. And that was there. a natural get grand slam. That's right. Shenanigans in the pack again there, calling off the jam after picking up another few points, bringing the unholy rollers up. Um, and continuing their lead, nine points for Shenanigans, bringing the Unholies to 92. Vaudeville Vixens left scoreless again in that jam with 54 points. We've got three and a half minutes to go in this first period. Um, we are going to continue this bout in a second period. So we're going to see some great action from both of these teams. Um, out there, we've got great fans, great supporters of our um, roller derby. We've got some great sponsors as well. Uh, that's right. We've got uh, UW School for Workers. The uh, School for Workers is the oldest continuously operating university-based labor education program in the United States. One of the first operational components of the Wisconsin idea, the School for Workers, its faculty and staff have long brought these three components, research, teaching and outreach to thousands of workers, unions, and employers throughout Wisconsin, the nation, and Dolly, the world. Wow, that's awesome. We want to thank all of our sponsors, um, but we're going to get back to the action here at our semifinals. Vaudeville Vixens taking on the Unholy Rollers. Looks like one hit Wanda going to jam for the Unholy Rollers here against Vaudeville Vixens' Jocelyn Howe. And we got some unholy rollers. Um, not in too much penalty trouble there. Um, a couple in the penalty box a few times. Um, but really doing a good job. Just one starting in the penalty box here. Meanwhile, there are three blockers holding back Jocelyn Hell. As the Vaudeville Vixens again. Neon Arzik and Hoppy Go Lucky there recycling one hit Wanda. As Jocelyn Hell gets through and picks up lead jammer status for the Vaudeville Vixens. 
One hit wand off close on her wheels. Well, not quite close on her wheels, but as she approaches the pack, uh, it, it, the jam gets called off. That's right, Jocelyn Helm doing something pretty smart there, seeing one hit Wanda, and she's a fast jammer, so by the time you hit the back of the pack, you know that other jammer's on your heels racing towards you, so you wanna call off that jam. Right as she hit, gets hit outside there, mm -hmm. she calls that jam off. All right, we've got on the line uh, Ginger Snap, Ginger Snaps, number seven one six for the or six one seven for the Unholy Rollers and jamming for the Vixens, uh, La March Madness, number six seven two, and six seventy two La March Madness, a lead jammer for the Vaudeville Vixens, out of that pack pretty fast there, and she's going to approach the pack again, try to s jump over her own skaters, get up in the front try and get past as many blockers as she can. She gets out of the pack. That's right. And, and keeps going. And that's right. And with Ginger Snap in the penalty box, that gives her a grand slam. Five that's points. That's right. We don't even see Ginger Snap, but um, she is in the penalty box. So LaMarche Madness and the Vaudeville Vixens with a power jam, just what they need here. And as she gets, oh, one more attempt there, but LaMarche Madness sidesteps that block and making her way around the track again. Gets past her blockers, now up against a wall of unholy rollers as Ginger Snap is released from the penalty box and fighting against the Vaudeville Vixens blockers. That's right, and Ginger Snap holding, what, you doing a star stash, looks like she might be reaching to do a pass, but we're and not sure. And actually, so, yes, yep. there it is. There it is. Passed off to Toast. And as Toast is jamming for the Unholy Rollers, La March Madness makes her way through the pack, calls off the jam. And as Bonnie Raya goes down on the ground there, it looks like La March Madness with 19 points. Great job by the Vaudeville Vixens there. La March Madness stepping past that last block and through the pack there. Great job by LaMarche Madness. 19 points bringing the Vixens to 76 points on Holies with 92. That's right, and that, that puts them on a good trajectory going into the half. That's right, we got possibly one more jam here in this first period. Blanche Devereaux going up against Tango de Muerte. Tango de Muerte out of the pack first, gonna be your lead jammer for the Unholy Rollers. So now even though the period clock is getting down to six, five, four, and may run out, the jam clock will um, will continue, and Tango de Muerte has power now to call off that jam at any point in time, which will end that period. Tango de Muerte through the pack there with four points. Blanche Devereaux trying to make her way past, oh, and it looks like Hello Sailor knocking her to the outside, recycling her to the back, as Tango de Muerte makes her way up against the Vaudeville Vixens there and calls off that jam. That's right, and this is, we are brought to the halftime point uh, of the game. It is now uh, 100 points for, the Unholies have reached the century mark right at the half, uh, and the Vaudeville Vixens are uh, at 80 points. And that's nice for us, because it's a nice, easy 20 point game, Unholies on top. We see shenanigans, the top scorer there, Gertrude Awakening, one hit Wanda, Tango de Morte, and Ginger Snap, all scoring 10 points or more. Vaudeville Vixens with a few jammers there. They're gonna like regroup um, in the locker rooms, come back for a second half, and like we said, uh, assassinate it's anyone's game um, playing the semifinals here at the Alliant Energy Center. Both the Vaudeville Vixens and the Unholy Rollers doing a great job. Um, what they need to do in the second half, I think, is keep their jammers out of the penalty box, um, play smart, controlled derby, and just kind of work their way back um, up there in points, or as the Unholy Rollers are, continue to just um, hold those points that they have and keep that lead. That's right. All right, we're going to take a break, and we'll be back for the uh, second half. All right. Hospitality is not just a word at Bishop's Bay Country Club. It's our way of life. Come and experience why Bishop's Bay Country Club is the premier country club in the Madison area. TVW Sports Weekends is produced by these local stations. TV 43 in Baraboo, Fact TV in Fitchburg, Monona Grove Community Media, OCA Media in Oregon, WSTO and SSN in Stoughton, Sun Prairie Media Center, 
Village of McFarland TV, Watertown TV, and W7 Productions for the girls. TVW Sports Weekends is brought to you by our proud and local sponsors, SUP Stores and SUPS.com, and A1 Furniture and Mattress. Support your local TV stations and sponsors, without whom these games would not be possible. From the moment you set foot on our campus until the day you receive your diploma, we are committed to your success. And our graduate affordability promise means more students can experience Edgewood College for less. The GAP program lowers tuition rates for business and education graduate students by up to 40%. This is Edgewood College. Life-changing education made more affordable and more accessible to more people than ever before. 2020 Prep Mania Hoops is brought to you by these proud local sponsors. Ansi and Associates. At Ansi and Associates, we give you more than just insurance, we give you peace of mind. That's the Ansi way. Dale's Heating and Air, putting your comfort first. Blackhawk Technical College, get your custom training on. Explore how Blackhawk Technical College can provide cost-effective training solutions for your company. Dairy Queen, fan food, not fast food, on Mineral Point, University, Fish Hatchery, and Sun Prairie and Cardinal Heating and Air, trained and trusted 24-7 emergency service. Support your local sponsors without whom these games would not be possible. Hospitality is not just a word at Bishop's Bay Country Club, it's our way of life. So every day we strive for perfection. Memories are made here. <laughs> and not forgotten. Come and experience why Bishop's Bay Country Club is the premier country club in the Madison area. The Madison East Sup Store is your destination for Bang Energy drinks. Not only do we have the largest selection in town, but our prices are unbeatable. Mix and match a 12 pack for just $15.99 every day. A knowledgeable staff and low prices. It's time to get more bang for your buck at Sup's. No matter your fitness goals, Sup's is here to help. We've built our reputation on low prices, trustworthy brands, and customer service. So whether you're looking for pre-workout or protein, or vitamins and weight loss supplements, it's time to get more bang for your buck at SUPS. Brent from SUPS here. Not only do we have an amazing selection of sports supplements, we also have a great selection of CBD products with amazing prices. Right now, get the 2500 milligram full spectrum for only $99.99. Hello and we're back. Uh, we're uh, getting ready for the second half of the semifinals match between That's right, the Vaudeville Vixens. That's right, uh, Vaudeville Vixens against the Unholy Rollers. Like she said, I'm Assassinate. This is Dolly, pardon me. Hi there, and we are going to um, see the Vaudeville Vixens and the Unholy Rollers take each other on in this second period. Unholy Rollers ahead with 100 points, Vixens with 80. We've got Shenanigans leading with 38 points um, as the lead Scoring jammer for the Unholy Rollers, 28 points from the Vixens' Blanche Javero as jammer in that top point. LaMarche Madness for the Vaudeville Vixens, 23 points, and Gertrude Awakening, 23 points for the Unholy Rollers. So a lot of real evenly matched um, skill on jammers and blockers um, alike on the Unholy Rollers and the Vaudeville Vixens. We saw a couple jams where the Unholy Rollers took advantage of the Vaudeville Vixens jammer in the penalty box and really had um, that kind of leap ahead with the points. So that's why they're in the lead now. That's right, and uh, we've got Ginger Snap, uh, number 617, skating for the Unholy Rollers. And jamming for the Vixens, we have Blanche Devereaux, number 65. So you'll see both of those jammers wearing the star. They score the points for their team, um, Blanche and Ginja, both going to try and get through first. Whichever one does legally and in bounds, past all of those skaters first, is the lead jammer. They're fighting hard to see who's going to be lead jammer. And it looks like Ginja Snap knocked out or told to go off the track and to the penalty box. That's going to give Blanche Devereaux and the Vaudeville Vixens a power jam. So. Blanche Devereaux now with just two blockers to beat out there, looking to get past um, 7734 Hellwoods, and um, it looks like another um, 
another I would help you, but there. I don't. I would help you, <laughs> but gets, I don't know. That's all right. She gets passed. Both of them. Now is around on her point scoring pass. Blanche Devereaux out there again, trying to get past Goldman Smacks and Hellwoods there. That's the two that she was past, trying to get past before. That's right. Ginger Snap uh, getting back on the track, puts her star back on. And now Ginger Snap out of the pack there, or out of the pack, that was her initial pass. So Blanche Devereaux stuck behind the unholy rollers, calls off that jam, but picks up five points before um, that jam ends now. The Vixens with 85, unholies with 100. And that's what the vaudeville Vixens need to do is get those um, lead jammer statuses so that they can control the point scoring here. Unholy Rollers want to do that as well. That's the, the goal uh, for either jammer out there. And now we've got Dalek Dal jamming in pink for the Vaudeville Vixens. Wearing the star in red is Tango de Muerte for the Unholy Rollers. Tango de Muerte knocked to the outside, but takes a step back in and then gets back through. But meanwhile... Meanwhile, Dalek Dal takes lead jammer status and... Tango's still working at it. That's right. Tango recycled to the back of the pack. Both jammers in the back of the pack now, but Tango de Muerte still on that initial pass. Dalek Dal scoring points for the Vaudeville Vixens. Not without a fight, though, going up against Gertrude Awakening. Um, Rue Barbarian, the manipulator, and um, Hello Sailor out there. And Dalek Dal taken down, keeping an eye on the opposing jammer, but trying to get past to pick up those points. With the Vixens being down in points, Dalek Dal is that lead jammer, has to try and score as many points as possible, gets through there, picks up that um, those points, but it looks like the jam is called off. So Vixens with five points in that jam, Unholy Rollers with two. It's a strong start for the uh, Vixens for this half. Um, they two jams in a row with five points, I believe, and That's it's right. it's 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 just those little bites that they need to take the rest of the for the rest of this game. Just little bites, and like you said, the lead jammer takes um, uses the opportunity to uh, prevent the opposing points. That's right. Now we've got. Two more jammers out there. Unholy Rollers have um, shenanigans wearing the star in red. And Vaudeville Vixens have Jocelyn Hell jamming. Jocelyn Hell out of the pack first, picking up lead jammer status for the Vaudeville Vixens. Meanwhile, shenanigans stuck between or stuck behind the Vaudeville Vixens. That's right. Those uh, Vixen blockers being Lady Painicorn, um, Neon, Hoppy Go Lucky, and Lemon Dropkick. And then jam, um, blocking for the Unholy Rollers, we have Toast, Off Me Rocker, Goldman Smacks, and Hello Sailor. And it looks like Jocelyn Hell standing there waiting, I think maybe um, recycled by, it looks like shenanigans, the jammer. So the jammer hits you out. If you're the other jammer, you can't enter in front of that jammer without then also picking up a penalty. So a smart move there by Jocelyn Hell, getting inbounds behind shenanigans. But shenanigans out of the pack there. Jocelyn Hell calling off that jam after she picks up the five points there and Unholy Rollers kept to zero points. So even though Shenanigans smart move by knocking out Jocelyn Hell, Jocelyn Hell uh, was patient, stuck with it, and um, also then was able to uh, pick up those five points for the Vaudeville Vixens, bringing them to 95 points, Unholy Rollers with 102, and we're back to a seven point game, Nate. That's right. Lining up uh, for the Unholy Rollers, we have one hit wand in number three. Um, and lining up for the Vaudeville Vixens, we have La March Madness, number 672. La March Madness, a rookie on the Vixens this year, but really, um, you know, starting to get stronger as a jammer. I think this being the, one of the first, first games she's jammed uh, consistently. Um, La March Madness out of the pack first, though, lead jammer as one hit Wanda knocking down some vaudeville vixens also gets out of the pack. La March Madness, though, through that pack, calling it off, picking up four points and keeping the vixens in that slow but steady mm -hmm. um, jumping back into there. 99 points for the Vaudeville Vixens, Unholy Rollers with 102. And Unholy Rollers just scoring two points so far in this period. We're six, 
minutes into the period, so Vaudeville Vixens um, really keeping the, the point scoring going there. Yeah, and I believe um, what, the Vixens are doing, uh, have, have a strong and deep uh, jammer uh, lineup, um, even with uh, Shantastic Picasso out of the um, out of the game due to an injury. And it looks like Black Velvet not in the game as well, another strong jammer. But they do have Blanche Devereaux there spinning around the inside and jamming for the Vaudeville Vixens. Meanwhile, Ginger Snap, number 617 there, jamming for the Unholy Rollers, is lead jammer. Ginger Snap there, as we were talking, got lead jammer status, got through the pack and picked up four points for the Unholy Rollers, called off that jam and left the Vixens scoreless. So just what we've been seeing the Vixens do, here come the Unholy Rollers back to do it to them. That's right. We're going to take a break, um, and we'll be right back. Thank you for watching the Mad Roland Dolls. Hi, and we're back. Uh, we are we are watching the Mad Roland Dolls. It is uh, the semifinals for season 14, and we have the Vaudeville Vixens and the Unholy Rollers. That's right, jamming for the Unholy Rollers uh, with the star is Tango De Muerte, number 22, lead jammer, up against Dalek Doll, number 32, jamming in pink for the Vaudeville Vixens. And uh, Tango De Muerte around the track and through the pack again for four points. It looks like she's uh, continuing to skate as Dalek Doll approaches that pack, trying to get through and get points. Tango de Muerte, though, approaches that pack, does a little um, shake, shake, boom there, and um, calls off the jam after she jukes by the vaudeville vixens there. So Tango de Muerte, nice jam for the Unholy Rollers there, eight points. Vixens do pick up two points, but Unholy Rollers at 114, Vaudeville Vixens with 101. That's right. What, we ha what do we have here going on lining up? We have got shenanigans lining up for the Unholy Rollers and jamming for the Vixens, Jocelyn Hell, number 1967. And you see Jocelyn Hell there lining up behind shenanigans. Shenanigans playing some defense there with the Unholy Rollers uh, with her blockers until she's eligible to get up, or able to get up there. But Jocelyn Hell, not having any of that, gets past all of those blockers and picks up lead jammer status. Shenanigans close behind and hot in pursuit. They are flying around this track. Jocelyn Hell calls off that jam as the Unholy Roller take off. It looks like picking up two points before the Unholy Rollers can pick up any in that jam. Shenanigans, though, still that um, lead point scorer for the Unholy Rollers. And Blanche Devereaux in the lead scoring for the Vaudeville Vixens. Jocelyn Hell, though, with 23. LaMarche Mandis with 27 and Blanche Devereaux with 33. Really um, making the difference in these last few jams um, in this second period. All right, we've got one hit Wanda uh, jamming for the Unholy Rollers. Number three four, uh, jamming for the Vixens. Dalek Doll, 32. And Dalek Doll takes the lead jam. And it looks like to me on the, on your screen, we've got LaMarche Madness jamming I apologize. for the Vaudeville Vixens. It's okay, we're looking at multiple screens and they're not always updated. But LaMarche Madness, Dalek Doll, and a lot of those jammers for the Vixens do look similar. But LaMarche Madness calls off that jam, picks up four points, and keeps the Unholy Rollers scoreless. And nice. Nice, smart, um, quick jams by the Vaudeville Vixens and the Unholy Rollers this, this second period. We've got Ginger Snap lining up with the star for the Unholy Rollers in red, going up against Blanche Devereaux, jamming for the Vaudeville Vixens. Both jammers take up um, and run up to the blockers. And Blanche Devereaux on, or on the outside gets past the Unholy Rollers and picks up lead jammer for the Vaudeville Vixens as Ginger Snap is getting recycled around to the back of the pack. Looks like might have taken a hit to the eye there. Yes, it did look like face. something. She, she grabbed her face. She gets through, though, mm -hmm. um, and Ginger Snap is hot in pursuit. Blanche Devereaux now um, 
Heading to the box. Heading to the penalty box, it looks like, as she approached that pack for the first time. So Ginger Snap and the Unholy Rollers now with the power jam. And since the lead jammer went to the penalty box, we have no lead jammer. This will go the distance, the full two minutes. So Ginja Snap now just trying to score as many points as she can for the Unholy Rollers. That's five points on the board and a grand slam. A little um, movement to the side. Nice lateral movement there by Ginja Snap. She just keeps skating like this is an endurance drill. Um, just to move around the track, around the track. Here she goes again. Coming into that turn, Unholy Rollers blockers going up to help a little bit. But then holding back, Ginja Snap as the jammer able to push her way through there for another five points another grand slam that's right and now blanche Devereaux is out of the out of the penalty box she is being held up by a wall of unholy roller blockers oh and ginger snap going down there holding her face it looks like as she went into the pack of vaudeville vixens might have uh, gotten hit there she goes down so they do call off the jam if there is an injury to either jammer um, this is a full contact sport so sometimes that's ha that happens ginger snap um, gonna just uh, get a look look see to um, see if uh, that is something that needs to be taken care of let's, though. let's see if we see anything here we do see her great footwork there ginger yeah. snap around the outside there nicely easily taken there um, and you are watching the Mad Roland Dolls semifinals, bout um, number 14. We're watching the Unholy Rollers, who have 129 points, take on the Vaudeville Vixens with 110 points. These teams are going to battle it out for another, uh, looks like, 18 minutes to determine who's going to go to the championship bout. All right, we're going to take a little bit bre little break, but thank you for watching the Mad Roland Dolls. All right, and it looks like, and we're back. Sorry, uh, no we're back. This is uh, you're watching Mad Rolling Dolls. Uh, we are watching the Unholy Rollers take on the Vaudeville Vixens. And this is Roller Derby, folks. Check out MadisonRollerDerby.org. Um, we are going to have a championship bout on April 28th. That will be either the Vaudeville Vixens or the Unholy Rollers. Whoever wins this semifinals will play for the championship, um, the leg of champions. They call it leggy. Um, but that is the trophy for the championship bout. That's going to be on April 28th. Get your tickets. Join us here at the Expo Halls. You can also check out the Mad Roland Dolls at a couple other events. Jump to support Mad Roland Dolls at the Sky Zone on Wednesday, April 18th. Check out our website for more. Uh, we've got Dalek Doll jamming now for the Vaudeville Vixens going up against Tango de Muerte for the Unholy Rollers. Tango de Muerte caught be behind um, some of the tight defense put up by the uh, Vaudeville Vixens. Meanwhile, the Unholy Rollers holding back Dalek Doll just as much. Um, a lot of a lot of recycling by these packs, but it looks like. Tango de Muerte able to fight through there, gets lead jammer for the Unholy Rollers. Now she's coming up on the pack, eligible to score points. That's right. Dog Doll still on her first pass through, so she's not eligible to score points yet. And you see her step through, but then realize she was out of bounds, so recycle herself back around to the back. Meanwhile, Tango de Muerte trying to get past that wall of vaudeville vixens we've got neon wolf rammer bonnie riot and lemon drop kick there holding her back as it looks like dalek doll in through the pack she, yeah she, she took her star off for a little bit made it through the pack put it back on um no no points though um tango de Morte getting Frustrated there, does pick up one point, but being lead jammer, when that um, occurs, you're able to call off that jam and um, move on to the next. So we're showing on this on the scoreboard here again, or showing the scores there on the on the screen again with the top jammers there. Shenanigans jamming for the Unholy Rollers up against Jocelyn Hell, getting through on that inside line and picking up lead jammer status for the Vaudeville Vixens. 
Shenanigans through the pack and hot in pursuit. Now Jocelyn Hell coming around the outside, trying to make some points here, turns her hips. You see past a couple of blockers as she puts her hands to those hips. So she knows she's lead jammer. She's gonna try and turn her hips and get as many points as she can as she calls off that jam. And when you put your hands on your hip, when you dip, we dip, we dip. We dip, you dip, I dip. Yep. And that's three points for the Vixens, bringing them up to 113 points. Unholy Rollers with 130. And we've still got 15, almost 16 minutes to go in this second period. Jamming for the Unholy Rollers in red, we've got Gertrude Awakening, 314. Vaudeville Vixens have LaMarche Madness wearing the star, 672 in pink. LaMarche Madness around the outside there, past one hit Wanda, and the Rue Barbarian picks up the lead jammer status for the Vaudeville Vixens. Gertrude Awakening hot on her wheels, about half a, half a length behind, but, but coming on fast. Half a trap ba track back, but LaMarche Madness gets through past the unholy roller blockers, calls off the jam. She picks up three points, um, and it looks like unholy rollers do pick up one point there in that last jam. LaMarche Madness there with some great footwork, just stepping, being able to get around and then turn, stop while inbounds and call off that jam. So we've got Blanche Devereaux now jamming with the star for the Vaudeville Vixens, going up against Tango de Muerte, jamming for the Unholy Rollers. And it's a battle to try to get through there. And it looks like Tango, the, bat, the winner of that battle was Tango de Muerte. That's uh, right. She has taken lead jam. Tango de Muerte, lead jammer. It looks like Blanche Devereaux sent off the track to the penalty box, so that'll give Tango de Morte and the Unholy Rollers a power jam. Just what they've needed and done in the past to get ahead in points, staying ahead. Tango de Morte through the pack there for a grand slam and five points for the Unholy Rollers. Back around the track again, through that pack and past the Vaudeville Vixen blockers for another easy five points and another grand slam for the Unholy Rollers. Blanche Devereaux released from the penalty box there. Eligible to score points now, but Tango de Marte still in charge of when this jam ends. Oh no. And Tango de Marte fighting her way through that front of the pack. Blanche Devereaux heads back to the penalty box. Uh, and that's gonna be another power jam for Tango de Marte and the Unholy Rollers. That'll be Blanche's fourth penalty. Um, I think she is leading um, penalties for the Vixens. Uh, well, tying with uh, Hello Sailor for the Unholy Rollers also has four uh, penalties. So both not too, in too much penalty trouble. Seven penalties will um, get you kicked out of the game, but four penalties, you know, still enough time out of the, uh, off the track, especially if you're that jammer. Tango de Muerte moving in to lead um, scorer for the Unholy Rollers. Last jam there, um, Tango de Muerte bringing the Unholy Rollers up to 151 points. Vixens with 116. And we've got Shenanigans jamming solo for the Unholy Rollers in a power jam. That's right, she's on her first scoring pass right now. And she is lead jammer for the Unholy Rollers as well. Blanche Devereaux starting that jam in the penalty box. Now on the track for the Vaudeville Vixens, jamming. And you see shenanigans trying to fight past the likes of Donna Stunner, Neon, and Lemon Dropkick. Moving back and forth across the pack. A lot of lateral movement there. Bonnie Riot coming into the pack there. Sort of also, bridging it up. Exactly, also working to bridge because the Unholy Rollers are fighting to keep Blanche Devereaux back. And we've got Hello Sailor, the Manipulator, and Hell Woods with a tight uh, three wall there. And it looks like Shenanigans is through. She is around the outside of that wall, steps her way through. And it looks like Blanche Devereaux passing the star to Neon, the pivot there. So that's a little star pass on the Vaudeville Vixens. Shenanigans though, jamming still for the Unholy Rollers. Getting past that last vaudeville vixen. 
picking up another five points or grand slam. Two natural grand slams in a row for Shenanigans. Uh, Neon. Neon now active jammer for the Vaudeville Vixens after being passed the star by Blanche Devereaux. Neon up on the inside there trying to fight her way past the Unholy Rollers blockers. And Shenanigans caught behind the Vaudeville Vixens blockers as well. Neon cycled back by Hello Sailor. And Shenanigans decides to call off that jam with just a few seconds left to go. Um, shenanigans though, total of 13 points in that jam. Vaudeville Vixen seven points. That was a long jam, that was a lot of work. And Unholy's remained in the lead there, 164. Vixens with 123, and we got about 10 and a half minutes left to go. You're gonna see how Shenanigans um, here on the, on the track is able to like hop, skip there, jump, and then come back, changing her movement back and forth. Great jammers out there on the track. We've got Jocelyn Held jamming for the Vaudeville Vixens now in pink. Gertrude Awakening jamming for the Unholy Rollers. Let's see, it looks like, and uh, Jocelyn Hell is through the pack, lead jammer. And just as Jocelyn Hell gets lead jammer status, you see some of the Unholy Rollers who were blocking now come back and play a little bit of offense. Gertrude Awakening able to make it through there. But Jocelyn Hell now back in the pack trying to get points. Knocked down right there after turn two and calls off the jam. Picks up one point for the Vaudeville Vixens there, keeping the Unholies with zero. All right, we're going to take a break, but you're uh, watching the Mad Rolling Dolls. All right, thanks for watching Mad Rolling Dolls. We're back. That's we are right. watching the Unholy Rollers and the Vaudeville Vixens. And play they are the playing, playing in the semifinals here tonight at the Alliant Energy Center. We're here at the Coliseum. I am Dolly, pardon me. I'm Assassinate. And we want you to come down and see the action um, at our home bout on April 28th. It'll be the finals. Whichever team wins this game is going to go on to play for the championship in the finals. Right now, we've got Ginger Snap jamming for the Unholy Rollers, just spinning out of that front there and picking up lead jammer status. Jamming against La March Madness there on the Vaudeville Vixens. So Unholy Rollers, um, Ginger Snap, great job of just getting lead jam there, hitting the pack, picking up four points, calling it off before the Vixens jammer can get any points. I've got one here that says, hey Ryan. Um, let's talk about uh, the best ice cream made in Wisconsin. Uh, it's chocolate chop ice cream. It tastes so good because it is gobs of rich Wisconsin cream, tons of real ingredients for boatloads of luscious flavors. Sounds that means, delish. Yeah, it's, that means it's not low fat, low calorie, or low anything, and that's why everyone loves it. You want nutrition, eat carrots. And these skaters definitely practice nutrition, but also love their ice cream. We've got Dalek Dahl, number 32, out there jamming for the Vaudeville Vixens in the pink. And we've got Tango de Muerte, number 22, jamming for the Unholy Rollers. <laughs> the manipulator trying to get at Dalek Dahl there, falling down. Dalek Dahl picks up lead jammer status for the Unholy, or, sorry, for the Vaudeville Vaude Vixens. That's right, the uh, Tango de Muerte, uh, Jamming for the Unholy Rollers. Uh, Tango approaches. hot in pursuit mm -hmm. there as Tango, as um, Dalek Dal calls off the jam. Tango de Morte does pick up that one point. Dalek Dal with three for the Vixens. I think I have a follow up to your uh, shout out, Rich. In the words of the poet, two chains, all I want for my birthday. Let's is see, who do we have one? Looks like we've got, lining up, we've got shenanigans uh, for the Unholy Rollers and Jocelyn Hell for the Vixens. Jocelyn Hell there off the screen comes in right behind shenanigans, who's playing a little bit of defense there. Jocelyn Hell knocked to the infield, recycled to the back there. Meanwhile, shenanigans making her way around the outside and picking up lead jammer status for the Unholy Rollers. Hello, Sailor. 
And as Shenanigans gets around the track and is on her point scoring pass, Jocelyn Hell passes uh, or takes off the cover, star cover, gets through the pack and puts it back on. Meanwhile, Shenanigans through the pack a little bit, calls it off and picks up three points for the Unholy Rollers. We've got the Unholy Rollers with 171, Vaudeville Vixens with 127, and still six minutes left to go in this bout. Lots of derby can happen in six minutes. That's right. Assassinate, we've got Gertrude Awakening lining up on the jammer line for the Unholy Rollers. She's jamming against um, La March Madness for the Vaudeville Vixens. And both jammers stuck behind um, the blocking walls of their opponents. We've got Bada Boom Box, Rubarbarian, and uh, Goldman Smacks out there for the Unholy Rollers, knocking LaMarche Madness to the infield. Meanwhile, Gertrude Awakening, trying to get around the Vixens, does so and picks up lead jammer status for the Unholy Rollers. That's right, and LaMarche Madness still working her way through, takes her, takes her cover off, still being held back by the Unholy Blockers, makes it through the pack, Puts her, looks like she's putting her star back on. No That's right. Fine. Meanwhile, though, Gertrude Awakening makes it through the pack and past that jammer, picking up a grand slam. Five points for the Unholy Rollers. Little hop there on that inside line, and it looks like the Vixen jammer got, goes right into the Unholy Roller jammer there. So um, Unholy Roller jammer calls that off. Gertrude Awakening picking up eight points. LaMarche Madness with just two points in that last jam. Unholy Rollers with 179, Vixens uh -oh. 129, uh -oh. and four and a half minutes left to go. Hospitality is not just a word at Bishop's Bay Country Club, it's our way of life. Come and experience why Bishop's Bay Country Club is the premier country club in the Madison area. TVW Sports Weekends is produced by these local stations. TV 43 in Baraboo, Fact TV in Fitchburg, Monona Grove Community Media, OCA Media in Oregon, WSTO and SSN in Stoughton, Sun Prairie Media Center, Village of McFarland TV, Watertown TV and W7 Productions for the girls. TVW Sports Weekends is brought to you by our proud and local sponsors, SUP Stores and SUPS.com and A1 Furniture and Mattress. Support your local TV stations and sponsors, without whom these games would not be possible. From the moment you set foot on our campus until the day you receive your diploma, we are committed to your success. And our graduate affordability promise means more students can experience Edgewood College for less. The GAP program lowers tuition rates for business and education graduate students by up to 40%. This is Edgewood College. Life-changing education made more affordable and more accessible to more people than ever before. 2020 Prep Mania Hoops is brought to you by these proud local sponsors. Ansi and Associates. At Ansi and Associates, we give you more than just insurance, we give you peace of mind. That's the Ansi way. Dale's Heating and Air, putting your comfort first. Blackhawk Technical College, get your custom training on. Explore how Blackhawk Technical College can provide cost-effective training solutions for your company. Dairy Queen, fan food, not fast food, on Mineral Point, University, Fish Hatchery, and Sun Prairie and Cardinal Heating and Air, trained and trusted 24-7 emergency service. Support your local sponsors without whom these games would not be possible. Hospitality is not just a word at Bishop's Bay Country Club, it's our way of life. So every day we strive for perfection. Memories are made here. <laughs> and not forgotten. Come and experience why Bishop's Bay Country Club is the premier country club in the Madison area. The Madison East Sup Store is your destination for Bang Energy drinks. Not only do we have the largest selection in town, but our prices are unbeatable. Mix and match a 12 pack for just $15.99 every day. A knowledgeable staff and low prices. It's time to get more bang for your buck at Sup's. No matter your fitness goals, Sup's is here to help. We've built our reputation on low prices, trustworthy brands, and customer service. So whether you're looking for pre-workout or protein, or vitamins and weight loss supplements, it's time to get more bang for your buck at SUPS. 
Brent from Subs here. Not only do we have an amazing selection of sports supplements, we also have a great selection of CBD products with amazing prices. Right now, get the 2500 milligram full spectrum for only $99.99. We want to thank another one of our sponsors, Rockabetty's Salon and Spa, located on Park Street, offering all types of beauty services from conservative to more unique looks. If your hair, nails, and skin aren't becoming, you should really be coming to us. Oh, nice. I like that phrase, that turn of phrasing. <laughs> all right, we've got Ginger Snap out there jamming with the star for the Unholy Rollers against 617, trying to get past Hoppy Go Lucky there, does so and is lead jammer. Meanwhile, Dalek Dahl jamming for the Vaudeville Vixens. Getting knocked about there, but back up, and now both jammers eligible to score. We've got a skeleton crew of blockers for each team. That we do. It looks like two unholy rollers there. Hello Sailor knocking down Dalek Dahl, being called to the penalty box that'll leave Rue Barbarian out there, oh, joined by one hit Wanda, but Unholy Rollers are just, They're just cycling. recycling back and forth to the penalty box, leaving one blocker from each team there. It's up to the jammers. Dalek Dahl out on the pack, or out on the track there with Ginger Snap. Ginger Snap in the lead, picking up eight points for the Unholy Rollers. Vixens now with eight as well. Ginger Snap trying to get that additional four points. Knocked about there, but gets through, picking up four points. Dalek Dahl knocked to the inbounds there, turning around and gets called on a penalty. Crack cup. Oh, they did not need that right now. That's for sure. That will send Dalek Dahl to the penalty box with Ginger Snap and the Unholy Rollers in a power jam. That's right, she just sco uh, Ginger Snap just having scored five points in a and Grand Slam. Ginger Snap knocked to the inside there. Hoppy go lucky knocked down there. A couple Vaudeville's Vaudeville Vixen blockers around the track there. Ginger Snap through and calls off the jam. Ginger Snap with a great jam there, picking up 22 points. 22 points, and they have passed the bicentennial mark. <laughs> That's 201 points for the Unholy Rollers. Vaudeville Vixens with 137. And just a little over two minutes to go in this bout. This is... This is a, it's, it's, it's not as close as I had uh, had been uh, kind of guessing it would be, but it is still an action-packed and fun game to watch. It always is, and we just saw Hello Sailor and Dalek Dahl there both go down after a tough hit. Um, we're gonna see these teams both play, uh, both played a lot of great defense. It really came down to um, a lot of penalties on mm -hmm. the Vaudeville Vixens jammers, allowing the Unholy Rollers to get those high scoring jams. Yeah, I think um, jammer penalties was the name of the game on this one, Dolly. It was, but both teams um, out there fighting for that uh, chance to go to championships. Both teams doing a great job. Uh, we want to thank everybody out there, um, all of our fans who have come out here. We've got LaMarche Madness and Blanche Devereaux, both with 36 points for the Vixens. Ginger Snap with 57 points for the Unholy Rollers. She's in the lead now. Shenanigans second with 53 points. Now, if you look, that entire that entire that entire stable of jammers are very high scores. They sure are. We've got Gertrude Awakening with 32 points, Tango De Morte with 45, Shenanigans 53, Ginger Snap 57. Nobody really in a lot of trouble with penalties there. A couple of the Vaudeville Vixens jammers um, in a little penalty trouble, getting a few more penalties than they'd want to see at this point in the game, but. Great job out there by our officials as well, our uh, referees and non-skating officials, making up um, a very important part 
of our league. That's right. And let's, uh, let's talk about one of our sponsors. We have Ian, Ian's Pizza is a proud sponsor of Mad Rolling Dolls. We saw a sign uh, a little bit earlier. Um, Ian's Pizza has two downtown locations, 100 State Street next to the Capitol and 319 North Francis near the Kohl Center. Both locations are open late. Order online at www.ianspizza.com and downtown delivery is available. That's right, we got a lot of fans here. Um, Unholy Rollers fans um, might be thinking that they've got this game in the bag, but anything can happen in those last two minutes. We could see the Vixens come back. Vixens are gonna try and do that. Um, we're gonna see the Unholy Rollers try and keep this lead and fight for victory in this game. Uh, but come on down and join us on April 28th where you'll see whoever wins this game play for the championship. And now we've got Tango de Muerte out there jamming for the Unholy Rollers. Jamming solo because Dalek Dahl for the Vixens is in the penalty box. Yep, she just comes out of the penalty box, so. She does get released from the penalty box. But not before Tango takes the lead jammer. So Tango now has the control as to when this jam ends. Dalek Dahl hot in pursuit and the pack is just taking off. A little bit of speed there, a lot of blocking going on, and Tango de Marte trying to get through that pack. Dalek Dahl hit in, up in the front, trying to get past a couple of the last unholy roller blockers. It looks like off me rocker, knocking her to the outside, but getting pulled off the track. So Tango de Marte knocked to the inbounds, recycled to the back by Bonnie Riot. And again, with um, that recycling to the back of the pack, Dalek Dahl being recycled as well. It is just the game here. Blanche recycling Tango. Um, it looks like Goldman Smacks recycling Dalek Dahl. Who is going to recycle Tango up in the front? Vaudeville Vixens, though, blockers all trying to hold Tango de Marte back. We've got Radio Smacktive, Bonnie Riot, and Blanche Devereaux, but Tango de Marte through that pack with just under a minute left. Doing a great job of eating up that time um, on the clock. Yeah, it looks like she's taking her time skating there. <laughs> it looks like she might be a little bit tired um, wow. having jammed uh, the majority of this game, doing a great job too. Dalek Dahl with a nice jump on that infield there, or a nice attempt at that apex jump. Has to land inbounds in order for those points to count. Tango de Muerte going up against that wall of Vixens again. She's just going to take it slowly and use up that time because the unholy rollers are in the lead. So calling off that jam at the last minute that she can with just a few more minutes to go. And the timer ticks down. We've got Dalek Dahl with that little jump. See, it played in backwards motion. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a timeout from the Vixens is called. So, is it in time for the game clock? So we've got a timeout called by the Vaudeville Vixens. That means we'll have one more jam in this semifinals bout. Um, but it's been a great game, played hard by both of these teams. Unholy Rollers in the lead with 212, Vaudeville Vixens with 150. So with one jam to go, uh, it's going to be hard for the Vaudeville Vixens to bring out the lead, but did a great job throughout this game um, playing hard. A lot of back and forth. Uh, Unholy Rollers really taking it away um, after the Vaudeville Vixens started to kind of break down that lead that they had taken. They take it back again in the middle of this jam. So both teams doing a great job fighting back and forth. It really comes down to, you know, just that consistency. Whether your jammer's on the track or in the penalty box allows you to really score points. So we're going to have LaMarche Madness jamming for the Vaudeville Vixens in this, in this jam. 672 in the pink wearing the star going up against Shenanigans, number nine, MM, you see on that jersey wearing the star for the Unholy Rollers. And LaMarche Madness trying to push forward in this pack. Vaudeville Vixens trying to hold back Shenanigans. 
She gets around the outside there as the March Madness tries to make her way through the inside. Shenanigans is your lead jammer. And she calls it off, and calls it off and ends the game. That's right, Shenanigans calling off that jam that ends the game and that brings the unholy rollers victorious in this semifinals game with 212 points. Vaudeville Vixens with 151. It looks like the unholy rollers will be going to the championship game. The Vaudeville Vixens will be playing um, for that grudge match in the championship game. But come and check us out here live at the Alliant Energy Center on April 28th. Check out madisonrollerderby.org to get your tickets and see what other great, exciting events are coming up um, with the Mad Roland Dolls in the future. We've got some exciting fundraising events. We've also got... Um, We've got Utter Chaos coming up. Utter Chaos. So even after our championships games, there's going to be some live roller derby action here in Madison in May. And we see the Unholy Rollers taking their victory lap, well-earned victory lap. Um, a great job done well um, by the Unholy Rollers. They're taking the victory for this semifinals. Um, we've had a great game back and forth. Um, a great job by both teams. We want to thank all of our fans um, out there. We want to thank you for tuning in. I am Dolly Pardon Me. And I'm Assassinate. And you've been watching the Mad Roland Dolls. Thank you. Thanks. Hospitality is not just a word at Bishop's Bay Country Club. It's our way of life. Come and experience why Bishop's Bay Country Club is the premier country club in the Madison area. TVW Sports Weekends is produced by these local stations. TV 43 in Baraboo, Fact TV in Fitchburg, Monona Grove Community Media, OCA Media in Oregon, WSTO and SSN in Stoughton, Sun Prairie Media Center, Village of McFarland TV, Watertown TV and W7 Productions for the girls. TVW Sports Weekends is brought to you by our proud and local sponsors, SUP Stores and SUPS.com and A1 Furniture and Mattress. Support your local TV stations and sponsors without whom these games would not be possible. From the moment you set foot on our campus until the day you receive your diploma, we are committed to your success. And our graduate affordability promise means more students can experience Edgewood College for less. The GAP program lowers tuition rates for business and education graduate students by up to 40%. This is Edgewood College, life-changing education made more affordable and more accessible to more people than ever before. 2020 Prep Mania Hoops is brought to you by these proud local sponsors. ANSI and Associates. At ANSI and Associates, we give you more than just insurance, we give you peace of mind. That's the ANSI way. Dale's Heating and Air, putting your comfort first. Blackhawk Technical College, get your custom training on. Explore how Blackhawk Technical College can provide cost-effective training solutions for your company. Dairy Queen, fan food, not fast food, on Mineral Point, University, Fish Hatchery, and Sun Prairie and Cardinal Heating and Air, trained and trusted 24-7 emergency service. Support your local sponsors without whom these games would not be possible. Hospitality is not just a word at Bishop's Bay Country Club, it's our way of life. So every day we strive for perfection. Memories are made here. <laughs> and not forgotten. Come and experience why Bishop's Bay Country Club is the premier country club in the Madison area. The Madison East Sup Store is your destination for Bang Energy drinks. Not only do we have the largest selection in town, but our prices are unbeatable. Mix and match a 12-pack for just $15.99 every day. A knowledgeable staff and low prices. It's time to get more bang for your buck at Sup's. No matter your fitness goals, Sup's is here to help. We've built our reputation on low prices, trustworthy brands, and customer service. So whether you're looking for pre-workout or protein, or vitamins and weight loss supplements, it's time to get more bang for your buck at SUPS. Brent from SUPS here. Not only do we have an amazing selection of sports supplements, we also have a great selection of CBD products with amazing prices. Right now, get the 2500 milligram full spectrum for only $99.99. 